let's start by looking at a term called factors okay so how do you determine what is a factor so let's start by example say 16 uh, so when you divide 16 by say 1 you get a whole number in this case 16 so 1 is a factor of 16 and 16 is a factor of 16 so you go down the line and you try say 2 so it's 16 divided by 2 get 8 which is a whole number so 2 is a factor and 8 is a factor you try now with 3 you realize that when you divide 16 by 3 you actually get 5 point something else so you realize it's not a full no whole number and so 3 is not a factor you go try again with 4 you get 4 which is a whole number so 4 is a, a factor so as you can see here uh, the factors of 16 is actually 1, 2, 4 here, 8, and 16. So next we are going to look at a term called multiples. And how do we determine whether a bigger number is a multiple of a smaller number? So let's take an example of say uh, 18. We want to find out whether it's a multiple of 3. So all you have to do is actually take the bigger number and divide by the smaller number and you see the answer in this case is a 6. So if it's a whole number, then 18 is a multiple of 3. If let's test 17 to see whether it's a multiple of 3, if you can see it's actually 5 point something something and this is not a whole number. So 17 is not a multiple of 3 and that is how you determine uh, whether it's a multiple of a smaller number. We will now look at something called prime numbers. So prime number is when a number has only two factors, uh, which is itself and also one. So for example, seven, if you go and look at the factors, you can only find that only one is a factor and seven is a factor. So seven is a prime number. So whatever that is not a prime number, we call it a composite number composite number of uh, any number that has more than just two uh, factors so let's do some exercises to see whether it's a prime or composite number so let's take the number 24 so there's actually a trick here that if it's an even number you know that it's definitely a composite number because it if uh, so because other than itself and one two is also a factor of it so you know that you know that it's more than two factors uh, let's do, for example, 67. If you try to uh, divide it by any other number other than itself as 7, you will not get a full number. Uh, you will not get a whole number. So 67 is actually a prime number. So you have to take note that uh, 0 and 1, these two are not considered a prime number and is also, a, is also not a composite number. Okay, let's wrap this off. So right now, uh, we can actually look at uh, something called uh, prime factorization. So factorization is actually uh, factorization is actually the process of uh, expressing composite numbers into their prime numbers. So for example, let's do 260 which is definitely a composite number, you can break them down into their prime numbers, say 2 and uh, 130, so the 2 times 130 equals to 260, and 2 is a prime number, so you cannot uh, uh, break down further, but uh, 130, you can break them down, equals to 2 times 65, which is 130, 65, you can break them down further to 5 and 13, so this is the factorization, and if you multiply all the prime numbers together, in this case 2 here, times 2, which is here, times 5, times 13, you get back 260. So uh, this is the factorization of a composite number to the prime number. The last thing we are going to look at for this video is uh, something called index notation. So if you multiply a number by itself, for example 5 times 5, you can actually express it as 5 to the power of 2, or in this case we call it 5 square. Or 
or if you multiply it by uh, multiply a number by itself for say four times you can actually express it as 5 to the power of 4 so this only works if you multiply a number by itself you cannot uh, multiply by a different number and express it this way so let's look at what we call it uh, how call its parts so in this case 5 to the power of 4 this 4 is actually what we call the index this 5 is what we call the base and this whole thing is the power